Hey guys, Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So, as the last couple weeks have been, kind of quiet on the news front here, but do I have a rumor for you guys? So, apparently, this has been posted in, I think, a couple of groups, and I saw it on Twitter as well. No news sites have reported this because it is so ridiculous, but I, I this is a rumor and news show, so I have to tell you guys. So apparently, Scott Demore and Don Callis are in deep talks about the Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho rematch being at an Impact pay-per-view. And this person wrote, As I've stated before, the Impact and New Japan pro wrestling relationship is good now and has transitioned into a working agreement. Jericho is 100% on board with this, and Omega is down if he gets the okay from New Japan officials. Now, I don't know where to start with this, um... Jericho said that the only North American promotion he would be working for would be WWE. I mean, maybe it was just the U.S. because Canada hosted Impact's tapings. They've moved their offices there. So I don't know if this is some sort of loophole. Um, but, I mean, even more so, the Impact and New Japan relationship, we, we haven't heard anything on this. Um, I know they were trying to repair it, but, but I think... Uh, we would have gotten some news if it was on good terms now. Um, and it, it just the match happened, what, two days ago? And this stuff's already coming out. Um, it, it just I, I can't wrap my head around it. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this. Don't get me wrong. I would love to see it again because the match was fantastic. But uh, But yeah. Uh, so into some real news, uh, Sanjay Dutt announced on Twitter that he has undergone surgery to fi fix a Achilles tear in his right foot. Um, he, I don't know how long he's going to be out of action for. This is not a quick recovery. Um, pretty, pretty scary uh, tear. Uh, he says he's lucky to be alive. Um but yeah, he basically said it's just going to take a while to heal. Uh, so I guess at this point, he will just be completely backstage on the creative team. Uh, so we talked about the last couple of weeks about EC3 and Bobby Lashley's contracts expiring in impact. Uh, Dave Meltzer reported this week that EC3 is a definite to join the WWE in early 2018 and claims that Lashley has a good chance as well. Um, EC3, I see going... To NXT and Lashley going to the main roster if they do go to WWE. Again, big contracts that Impact is trying to cut. So, yeah. Um, we also got news that Impact Wrestling will also be doing more with WrestlePro. Uh, WrestlePro's February 3rd event in Rahway, New Jersey. Um, this will serve as an Impact Wrestling taping. We have... Two matches, one being Alberto El Patron versus Falaba, and Ali and Braxton Sutter versus Nikki and Nico. Um, we haven't seen much of Braxton Sutter during the entire Canada taping. Um, I think we saw one backstage segment where he got beat up by KM. Uh, but speaking of Impact Wrestling tapings, uh, this week's episode drew 309,000 viewers and ranked 140 out of Cable's top 150. Um... This was the highest viewers since the Destination X show back in August, which drew 320,000 viewers uh, this past week's episode, which I have a review up on the channel of um, had a really packed show. Uh, I don't know, since I didn't watch the last two weeks of the best of shows, I don't know how much uh, advertisement for this week's show there was on there. Um, but I, I'm curious to know where what the ceiling is as it's been rising the last couple weeks, especially since the new people, well, not in charge, but in charge of creative and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's just, a, a, I guess it's going to be a roller coaster ride, so uh, get ready. Um, and the last thing I really have is that Abyss was on the Killing the Town podcast with Storm and Cyrus. Uh, he talked about the highs and lows in Impact TNA, uh, his career, and uh, being one of the last originals in the company, the only other one being Jeremy Borash, since we saw James Storm depart this week on Impact. 
Um, but he had this to say about next week's Impact tapings. He said, we've got some pretty cool stuff lined up and a couple of nice surprises. We're going to hit the ground running, and I'm excited about it. So good to see some positive words for next week's tapings. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I really hope they keep to this smaller taping structure where they only tape a couple weeks at a time, maybe a month or so, um, because, I mean... We are in the first week of January, and we're still going through tapings that took place in the beginning of November. Um, and thankfully, not a lot has changed in the landscape of Impact, but we've seen it happen in the past where names have come and gone, and then they're still on TV. So it's really confusing to uh, the casual viewer that doesn't know what's going on. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that we are nearing... 100 subscribers on the YouTube page. Uh, once we hit that goal, I'm going to start producing some uh, retro TNA shows, go back and review some old impact tapings, some pay-per-views. Um, so I'll let you guys know when that drops. And I will see you guys next week with some hope, with hopefully some more news. And uh, yeah, excited to see where impact goes in 2018. So until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thanks. Bye.